Hello and welcome back. So today I'm going to focus this video on using artificial intelligence and creating images. Now, this video is a little bit out of my comfort zone. I'm not a an expert in artificial intelligence, but there appears to be a little bit of a content gap in our Facebook group and people are a little bit hesitant um, to use uh, AI to generate images. And I just wanted to, you know, share with you that it's not something that I'm uh, very comfortable with, but I have used it and I have gotten some really great results. So I'm going to share with you a few of my favorite uh, websites that I use to generate AI images. So I'm going to start off with Microsoft Edge. And if you don't have Microsoft Edge, you can download uh, Edge. It's 100% free. And one of the um, options on Microsoft Edge is uh, Copilot. So if you have uh, Microsoft Edge at the top, you're going to find this swirly blue icon in the top right corner. That is Microsoft Copilot. And it is free to use now. You can open it up and um, expand it so that you can see it your full screen. Or you can just use it from the side panel. So I've just expanded it by clicking that box with the arrow. And you'll see when you're using Copilot that it'll provide you with uh, recommendations on how to use um, this AI. They call an AI companion, uh, but we're going to use it to create an image and you can set whether you want its response to be more creative, balanced or precise. So I'm going to start by placing in my prompt what I the type of image that I'm looking for and I'll use the same prompt for every AI image generator that we're going to use in this video. So for this video, I'm going to use create a 3D illustration of an animated bear with a blue butterfly sitting on its nose. The background of the image is a forest. The next step would be for us to just confirm that we either we want more creative, balanced or precise. Um, I'm going to leave it at balanced and then I'm going to come here and I'm going to say submit. And it's going to take a little bit of time for it to respond uh, to my prompt. All right, so here is the image that it has returned for me. And at the bottom, we'll see um, designer. And it's powered by Dal E. I'm not entirely sure what this means, but this is uh, the image that's been created for me. So you can see up here that you can either say you like it, you don't like it, you can try again, you can copy these images if you want. And so if you want to take a closer look at any of these image images, you can always just select uh, the image and it'll take you to the image where, where there'll be a little bit more options for you. So at the bottom, we see that you have the option to download the original. You can do some pixel art. You can reimagine this image uh, using watercolor. There's a block print, there's steampunk, and it, it goes on and on and on and on. You, there's also a claymation um, option, but I'm just going to stick with this so that um, we can see what the differences are between the AI generated models. OK, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to download this image um, so that I can then bring it into my uh, Canva. Now, the my second option is Designer 365. So I'm just going to come up here uh, because we need Edge to do this, I think. Um, and so I'm just going to type in here designer 365 and I'll click that 
and uh, basically it'll show you a whole bunch of different prompt templates which you can use to generate your image. So I'm kind of like this one. So I'm just going to select this one to try. And it helps you with the prompt. So keeping along the same lines that uh, I, of the prompt that I created previously, I'll change this up to say a blue butterfly on a brown bear. And I'll say generate. All right, so here are the images that have been created for me. Um, they're very, they're interesting, um, to say the least. Uh, this one, especially with the mask is kind of interesting. And this one, we've got the bear with a whole bunch of butterflies. So um, I'm going to save this one computer and then I'll upload it later uh, into Canvas. So I'll save that one. All right. So the third web based program I like to use, and I'm going to switch over to Chrome for this. Um, and I'll just open up another session. So the third web site I like to use is called GenCraft uh, AI. And I'll log in there. Okay, so now it also has different models um, available and it's going to ask you to subscribe, but just click outside and you'll be just fine. So it has a whole bunch of different free options for AI image uh, generation models. I'm going to select this one, uh, keeping along the same uh, lines. So then the, it'll show the model down here on your left side. And then in here, I'm going to uh, paste the same prompt I used the first time. So uh, let me just grab that and I'll bring that right here and I'll paste it. Okay. Now there's a little option down here to say enhance prompt. So I'm going to clip that. And I think what it does is just enhances certain prompts in my prompt to tell the program that these are the things that are most important uh, in my prompt so that it delivers the best possible image uh, for me. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say generate. And these are just different. Um, okay. Uh, different. Um, and here we go. Now, this by far is my favorite image that's been generated for a brown bear with blue butterflies. I truly love this. So and it's given us two different images for brown bears with blue butterflies. So uh, let's see if we can download this. And okay, and there it's been downloaded. Okay, all right. So this is the third option. Now, the fourth option, of course, this wouldn't be a Canva tutorial without using Canva as an option to generate AI images. So I'm going to head over to my apps and um, I'm going to search for AI image, uh, image generator. And this is the app that I'm going to use today. It's called Mojo AI. I'm going to select that. And it does give you a option of image, whether you're looking for a vision, whether you're looking for a QR code, or whether you're just looking uh, for uh, Express. Now, at, at the bottom, you have uh, a certain number of credits. And once those credits expire, then I guess you'd have to either purchase more credits or what have you. So I'm going to come up here and again, I'm going to use the same prompt, uh, create a 3D illustration of an animated bear. I'll go back to infinity 
and I want more that something maybe uh, fantasy art. Now there's also an option down here to select the aspect ratio. I'm just going to leave it at one um, to one, which is square, and I'll say create masterpiece. All right, so here is the image that it has created for me. Um, it's not bad, um, but um, here it is. Uh, so let's go back to apps and they also have DALI. So I'm just going to select DALI and again, I'm going to insert my prompt and I'll say generate. All right, so this is what we've got. I'm going to place this one on my desktop. If we want to upload those images that we uh, downloaded from those AI generated models, we could just come to upload files and we can just grab them and bring them into our design. So I'll just bring those two into our design and I'll press the cancel. All right, so that is uh, pretty much it. That concludes this um, tutorial on how to use AI to generate images. Uh, as you can see, I'm not an expert in this regard in terms of uh, using uh, AI or AI models, but I want to show you how easy it could be to generate uh, images with a little bit of practice. Let me just remind you guys that I do have a channel membership where I teach Canva fundamentals, and there is a private group where we meet uh, every week live so there are live sessions and I give my personal feedback uh, to the designs that are created or if my learners are having problems or struggles or they want to know how to do custom things like create frames and such, I help them to develop those techniques using Canva. So for now, uh, if you enjoyed this video, if you found this video useful, press the like button. And don't forget to subscribe so that you are notified when new content comes out. For now, I will say bye-bye until next time.